This QuickOffice tutorial is for QuickOffice Mobile Office Suite for iPhone and iPod Touch devices. This lesson will show you how to mount your device as a drive to transfer files between your computer and your device using QuickOffice. This lesson will provide instructions for Mac OS X. If you need instructions for Windows operating systems, please see our other tutorials. First, make sure you have an active Wi-Fi connection on your device and your computer and verify that your device and your Mac are on the same Wi-Fi network. When you open QuickOffice, you will see a URL at the bottom of the main screen. This URL can also be found if you press the Wi-Fi icon in any file list screen. Follow these steps to mount your device. On your Mac, open Finder and select Go Connect to Server or use the shortcut Command-K. Enter the address of your device, the URL that's displayed in QuickOffice, in the Server Address field of the Connect to Server dialog and press the Connect button. If you have enabled authentication in the File Transfer settings, Finder will present you with an authentication dialog asking for a username and password. In this case, enter the same username and password you have set up in the File Transfer settings in QuickOffice on your device. Mac OS X should then mount your device as a drive. A window will open on your Mac and the name of the mounted drive will match the internet address you used when establishing the connection. You can then transfer files from your Mac to your iPhone and from your iPhone to your Mac by dragging and dropping the files from one to the other. When you are finished working with QuickOffice, you should eject the drive that represents your device. This is typically done by dragging the drive icon to the trash or by selecting the drive and choosing File Eject or by using Command E. If you would like to prevent your device from going to sleep during the transfer of files, you can access the Disable Sleep setting from the Settings icon on the QuickOffice home screen. Please note that leaving Disable Sleep turned on for long periods of time will reduce your battery charge. And that's how to transfer files between your Mac and your iPhone by mounting your device as a drive. For other QuickOffice tutorials, please visit www.quickoffice.com.